This week's course is Sycamore Creek Golf Course in Richmond, Virginia. This course I just happened to pick up off of Golf Now down in the area for work one day during the week. It's about $55 for 18 holes with a cart during the week. Afternoon, and I was able to get on the course about four o'clock and play the 18 holes easily, casually, and finish before 7.15 when they wanted the carts back. I thought it was a pretty fun course. Now, the thing about this course is it's not a long course at all. It's 6,200 yards from the blue tees. They have blue, white, and red tees. I don't really know what the slope is offhand. I will note that in the description, but I would say it is probably about a one, 130 maybe. Yeah, I would say about 130 from the blue tees. And it does look like a underwhelming course, but it is not at all bound by its looks from the parking lot. And those who judge this course by its appearance from the parking lot or from the clubhouse are making a big mistake. It actually is a fairly challenging course. Now, while I will say that the first hole, you know, and the 10th hole are running in parallel down the hill away from the clubhouse and, and sort of across this small creek where there's a line of trees and really the only thing you have to do is get out there and hit a decent 225 yard tee shot off and then chip on to the green. It's about maybe 60 yards from there. That does kind of have its own test to it. It's not like, you know, everybody can walk onto a course and hit par. It's not like everybody can just walk onto a golf course and hit a 350, 400 yard par four without any problem. So what I would definitely suggest is don't underestimate this course just because the first hole is relatively easy or even the 10th hole looks relatively easy. You still have to play quite a variety of holes on the front side, and it, it just is not a gimme course. And I thought it was quite a, a good challenge, a good outing for that reason. It certainly reminded me of a, quite a few old throwback courses. I certainly can think of a number of holes in the course that were similar to other holes that I've played in courses. And I don't say that just as a, as a kind of common uh, thing. Of course, golf courses tend to have holes in common, but this course tends to have holes in common with holes that you really don't see much anymore. They're, it, it is a, a decent course. It's a good course. The greens are in good shape, everything like that, but it's not like it's a big course. And in a sense, you have to be careful in this course because it does have a, a fair number of tight holes, some good carries, uh, some good shots, you know, into blind shots in the greens, at least until you get within 100, 150 yards or so. Some elevated tees, you know, it's just, uh, I think it's a player's course more than anything else. It's not the kind of course where you have to go out and hit a lot of long bombs off the tee uh, to shoot par, although it does have some holes where you can hit long bombs off the tee, you know, and and have a good time doing that but it also has a quite a few holes which really require thought and definitely as almost always i would say you know take a look at the course map which they have nicely displayed on every hole they have a nice stand with the you know a, a wood cut of the hole layout look at that hole layout because there are quite a few holes on this course where you need to know that there is for instance a creek that crosses right in front of the green that there are waste areas and deep valleys and so forth off to the side of the green that you may not see from the tee box or if you do see you don't appreciate the the true peril that's there it has quite a bit of peril on this course this is not a child's course to play now, it's not like you couldn't go out there and hit, you know, pitching wedges and nine irons and so forth and play around them, your way around the course, but it is tight enough and it is uh, intriguing enough to, I think, put a good challenge on to most players. So I would suggest that, number one, if you have an opportunity to play this course, stop by, give it a try. It's certainly going to be a a good exercise of golf. It's It's a fairly closed course with a fair amount of foliage and you know woods and ivy and so forth and and trees and whatnot on the course 
Not at all as open as it looks from the first and the tenth hole. Not at all. And I think it deserves a decent B star rating. I don't think I would quite go up into B pluses for it, but definitely it's not a shabby knockabout course. Facility is in really good condition. The people there were really nice. And um, I think even at three o'clock in the afternoon, they still had a cart running around there, you know, which was pretty cool. During the week, you know, there's almost nobody on the course. They still have somebody driving a cart around, offering, you know, refreshments and so forth as usual. It was a very, I, I think, exceptional course for what it was. It certainly brought much of what you expect on a golf course to the table in a, in a world where... These days, you don't really get, you know, often you don't get what you expect out of a golf course. The only really knock I would give to this course was that on the first, pretty much the first, the ninth, the second, the third, and probably like the fifth holes, there's a fair amount of road noise. There's a housing community that's under construction just, I guess, north of the course. Just past the couple of holes that are on the backside, there's a road that goes, you know, through that area between... The, the construction and the course and it is very easy to put balls on that road you know i did it it did entirely put one ball across the road there i waved at it as i walked by to the green and it just really i think was a, a nice homely challenging course and a good rather you know rather good bargain for what it was 55 dollars with 18 in a cart and it, it just is a surprisingly good course considering what you walk onto the course and think that you're getting. And I wholeheartedly recommend giving this course around if you if you have a chance. This course is just off I-64, about 10 miles west of the I-95 interchange heading north. And it certainly is not hard to get to. It is not way in some weird suburb of Richmond. It's just off I-64. I think it's about maybe a five minute drive off 64. You have to take you know two turns to get to the course. You just can't really, I think, ask for a, a lot better course than this for the general case, not to mention for the money or for the Richmond area. It was a pretty nice course. Not going to deny, a little underwhelming at first, but it certainly decided to show some muscle and some teeth when I played it. So that's Sycamore Creek Golf Course in Richmond, North Richmond, Virginia. It's certainly a B-star course.